Call of the Wild, The Angler. A video that I did not think that I was going to be making because I had no intention of buying this game. However, one of my good friends, Joe Slayer, managed to uh, gift it to me on Steam and then I was like, why not give it a shot? Is it really as bad as the Steam reviews say? Taking a quick glance at the uh, reviews on the Steam page, it is not good. Very, very many people have simply just, they are not happy with this game. Out of 1,328 reviews, 34% of them are positive. So it is climbing. It was down to like 20% yesterday. And honestly, I think a lot of it comes from one specific thing that we got promised something else. Because when the news dropped about a new fishing game from the Hunter Call of the Wild team, also known as the Call of the Wild team now, with the Angler on board, we were talked into believing that we're gonna have a genre defying groundbreaking game and it is nowhere near that it is an open world game which is a little cool thing that you can run around the entire map and that is actually pretty big as well and figure out exactly where you want to go fish you can do it by boat you can do it by um, jeep or you can do it by foot it's a cool thing however the graphics that you're met with in this game are nowhere near on par to what we're used to from the hunter Call of the Wild, which obviously is a big deal for a lot of people especially when that is one of their big sales point another thing is simply the water in this game just does not look very good compared to the fact that you're staring at this for 90 percent of the time at least and staring on some murky blurry water like this that looks nowhere near what you have in call of the wild and i don't know man it's it's just not a good feel the overall thing that I have uh, picked up from this game so far by playing it six hours is that it feels very arcade it feels very um almost it's almost like you're playing a mobile game on your pc which is not a good feeling to sit around with however it is a would have been something different if they had went out and branded it as exactly what it is a nice little fishing game with not too much in terms of the depth of fishing, in terms of all of the different equipments and all of the different techniques, because everything seems to be very simple. You'll throw out, you'll get a fish. And I have had a lot of luck now here I'm catching rainbow trouts for a few hours. There is just so many things with this game that could have been done better to make it feel just a little more polished. One of the really big things as well is this black screen that appears whenever you finally land your fish after a fight i mean what in the world is this this is a company that changed the sound of us getting money in the hunter call of the wild whenever we picked up an animal because it was meant to make us feel good now they're just giving us a black screen whenever we finally land the fish and get to take a look at it i don't understand that it is such a big thing in terms of a fishing game to get to see the landing process to get to finally get that thing on the ground and get to take a closer look here you just get a black screen and you cut to something else not a big fan of that the fact that your character is also 100 stationary after you cast your lure it's just also not really a good feel in a fishing game where you want to try to sneak around that rock you want to go around that log you want to really try to get in and get close to things obviously it doesn't matter as much in this game as i said it is very arcadey and uh, don't even get me started on that big strike thing that appears whenever you finally catch something uh, could you imagine watching this in the hunter call of the wild and uh, whenever you had your sights set on what would be the vital parts of whatever animal you were looking at a big message saying shoot would just appear i don't really see where that one belongs the whole multiplayer shabakal seems to be a little weird as well. I don't seem to figure out how the hell I'm actually going to be able to get on the same server as my friends. Even through Apex Connect. It just doesn't make sense. The shop is very weird and seems very console feel like as well. Because half of the time I end up buying something different. Because I just move my mouse a little bit. If you click anything in the shop 
it doesn't stay there if you then move your mouse around anywhere else. So keep your mouse in place when you're trying to buy anything off of the shop. If you should pick up this game. The ability to change time is also missing in the game, which is a... I mean, I was standing around fishing, night fishing for a long time until I figured out how even to just get out and to another time. Um, I crashed my game, then I rejoined and I got somewhere else. I might just be me not being smart enough to figure that out. Also had some issues with uh, some just regular box appearing. Um, for a while I couldn't strike the fish, so even though it said strike and I should hook it, then the fish would just follow and it would not actually get hooked, so whenever I got it in closer it would just disappear. Super unfortunate as well, but that is simply just a bug I believe. Driving the car in the game feels super weird as well, it, I don't know how they actually managed to make it worse experience than driving the ATV in the Hunter, but somehow they managed to do that. So all in all, this game does not have a lot of good things going for it. And th the few things it somewhat has going for it, it has a very mobile phone slash very early console feel to it as well. There is two things that I have to give them credit for though. And that is simply that the fact it is a very easy game to pick up and get started with and it will run you through the tutorials and I must say even though that I have all these pet peeves with it after forcing myself to play it for five or six hours I've actually enjoyed it as silly as it sounds when I figured out that I was not looking at a very in-depth fishing simulator here but simply just a game where you're gonna go out and catch some fish and hopefully have a little bit of fun so if you can find your buddies on some multiplayer servers and hang out in discord and just talk some crap with those I can see this game actually having a spot the whole reason why this is getting slammed so hard is simply we got promised something that we did not get this is very arcadey, which makes sense when you're looking at it in terms of it being a Call of the Wild game. But it was just not presented as being a very arcadey Call of the Wild game. It was presented as being something else. But no way in hell that I would ever pick this game up myself for a price anywhere near 30 bucks. What they should have done with how basic the game feels is somehow figured out how to get it incorporated into the Hunter Call of the Wild. When they're not gonna go more in depth with all the techniques and all the different things, it could have been a DLC. And if it had been a DLC where you would also have the, the opportunity to place an aquarium or some uh, trophies of the fish that you catch in your lodge, in the hunter it would make so much sense and the crossover opportunities would basically be endless but as a standalone game for the price it has now with the competitors out there as well which most of them are actually free this one just is a giant miss compared to so many other things and i do apologize for basically not being able to find much good to say about it other than weirdly enough when you get to the Zen place in your mind where you're just okay with doing what you're doing and if you have some friends to do it with, this might not be the worst thing in the world. But as <laughs> if you can't find that Zen place, don't bother picking it up unless you find it on a very, very cheap Steam sale at one point. Then you might be able to have a little bit of fun with it. I do want to thank Dose Layer once again for gifting it to me. I'm sure that me and him and a few of the other buddies are going to go out and have some fun, but it's more going to be about the experience of heading out with a few friends in a boat and just talking, making like a podcast style stream or something where I can definitely see this game working. If you join a random multiplayer, you're not even going to be able to talk with anybody because there is no in-game chat. Not voice, not text. Um... There's a lot of things that could have been better with this one. So, EW, gotta be honest, this one ah, doesn't quite hit where it was meant to be.